Uh, chapter 10 forces and motions um, this is a easy, one, easy chapter assume uh, this is a particle and I'll give 10 Newton force along the x-axis so for which direction this is moving it is really obvious that it is moving to this direction because force is in this direction. Now the same particle I put 10 and 10 Newton which direction now this is moving because this is not moving to a, any direction because the forces are uh, equal and opposite now this is stationary now for this one it has 10 newton to this direction and 10 to this direction and I'll put 1 newton to this direction so which direction this particle is moving now it is clear that this particle is moving the unbalance is here it is moving to this direction so according to moving according along y-axis and this is uh, 1 Newton and for the same particle We have 10 here, 10 here, now 1 here, and uh, to this direction. If I put 4 Newton, then which direction this is moving? Early along, so this is the direction along y axis. Now it's not moving as usual to any direction. So when you consider 1 and 4, the total is 3 to this direction, 4 minus 1. So we will take 1 to balance, 1 plus 3n, 1 to balance with this one, another 3. So 3n force is the resultant force. So this is the resultant force is 10. And this is resultant force is zero. And this is resultant force is everything. There are three forces. It is here in this direction. Well, there are four forces here for this particle. This is balance 10 and 10. And this is one here. And we have a difference of three to this direction. And the particle, the resultant force is three and two. And the negative y axis towards and it is moving to that direction this is a particle as usual I have 10 Newton here and other I will put uh, 5 Newton to this direction now which direction this is moving you will feel that if this is a particle so you put a string here and you put another string here and then you pull those two strings from both sides for 10 Newton and 5 Newton what is the direction of particle the particle goes somewhere uh, somewhere here so this is uh, 10 Newton and this is 5 Newton so I draw a diagram so this phi, this is parallel to this one then uh, the resultant force is in this direction and the magnitude is 10 square plus pi square square root if this angle is theta 
इस डिरेक्शन टेन थीटा इक्वल फाइव डिवाइड बाय ओपोजिट डिवाइड बाय एजेसेंट सो दिस इज द हाइपोटेनियस ओपोटेस डिवाइड बाय पोसिट डिवाइड बाय एजेसेंट सो टेन थीटा इक्वल हाफ थीटा इक्वल टेन इन्वर्स हाफ सो दिस इज द एंगल नाउ विच डिरेक्शन दिस पार्टिकल विल एक्सेलरेट दिस इज द डिरेक्शन दिस इज द रिजल्ट एंड फोर्स विथ this is the angle you can see that uh, in page 157 there is a statement the resultant force acting on the object so this is the re object resultant force and see here will cause object to accelerate in the same direction of course so it is accelerating not this direction no this direction no any other direction it is accelerating on this direction where the resultant forces Uh, acting the direction where the result force and acting as the resultant force uh, force diagram what is a force diagram the force diagram shows shows all the force acting on the object so, so we work with 10 newton and then Five newton. So this is one model. Or sometimes a table, a ball is on the table, or car is on the table. Then uh, uh, R is working on here, and R and on the table. This is the R, and this is the R for the table. Uh, this R for the car. This is R one and R two actually, and this is R one and R two, and this is the weight. And uh, sometimes the block on rest, uh, not rest W. And uh, so this is a force diagram. Weight and a normal reaction, and then the normal reaction for the table is this one. So if you pull this one block, so it has a weight W, and it has a R, and we don't interest about the table. So table has some arm. Um, I will. We will pull this one with P force. The table. This is a smooth surface. Is smooth. So another one. The block. When it is on the table, normal reaction is there. And this is W, and this pull P. And uh, this is a rough, rough surface. This is a smooth surface. This is rough surface. Then you have a friction force here because it is rough. So there are some. Those are force diagrams. Or um bar hanging on the string t1 t2 t2 and the weight w oh this is a pulley and two weights m1 m2 so m1 g m2 g so this is t t t t this is a smooth pulley that's why it's empty so some forces diagrams 
let's discuss exercise 10a uh, 